Hello students, we shall now learn the first decomposition theorem, theorem 2.5. For every fuzzy set A, element of set of all fuzzy sets with respect to the universal set X. A is equal to union of special fuzzy set A, where alpha is an element of closed interval 0, 1, where Alpha A is a special fuzzy set and union denotes the standard fuzzy union. We shall now prove this. Now, we shall consider a particular element X which is an element of capital X that is the universal set. For each particular element X an element of capital X, let us assume that let the membership grade of the element X with respect to the fuzzy set A to be equal to A. So, this is we are considering this. Then, now we shall prove, we shall consider the right hand side. So, what is the right hand side? The right hand side is union of alpha a for alpha an element of closed interval 0 comma 1. Now we know that this is standard fuzzy union and by the definition of standard fuzzy union if we take the union of an element x it will be equal to the maximum value. So that maximum we can write as supremum because there are many special fuzzy sets. So, supremum of all those fuzz special fuzzy sets where alpha is an element of closed interval 0, 1. So, now what we are going to do is we are going to split up this interval. So, we are going to break this interval. That is, so we know that alpha is an element of closed interval 0 and 1. Now, we are we are having, we are going to break this interval from 0 to an element A and then from A to 1. So, what we are going to do is, so the supremum of alpha of A of X, this we are going to write as is equal to maximum of, so how we are going to break the interval is supremum of alpha A of X, where first we are going to consider alpha to be an element of closed interval 0 comma a so here if you uh, see alpha will be an element of closed interval 0 comma a which means it can alpha is greater than or equal to 0 and lesser than or equal to a and then the other interval that we will be considering is supremum of alpha a of x where alpha will be an element of now the element a has been included in this interval. So, we will be excluding that element. So, we will have an open interval A comma closed interval 1. So, this is how we are splitting up this closed interval 0 comma 1. So, now we will mark this as equation 1. Now, we will evaluate each of these separately. First, let us evaluate supremum of alpha A of x where alpha is an element of open interval A comma 1. So, let us evaluate this. So, first to find supremum of alpha A of x where alpha is an element of open interval A comma closed interval 1. So, now we shall consider this. Now, for each alpha element of open interval A comma closed interval 1 we have so now if you see we are taking alpha to be the element of a comma 1 so we know that this is 0 and 1 and we have a somewhere here now we are choosing alpha in between a and 1 so it will be somewhere here so alpha so if we observe that it is greater than a and it is strictly greater than a because we have excluded uh, the L A here 
so we have taken the open interval for a so we can we have alpha to be strictly greater than a so we because it is greater than all uh, a so we are writing alpha to be greater than a so this can also be written as a is lesser than alpha so what we get is so we know that a of x is equal to a this we have taken in the beginning so if you see here we have taken a of x to be equal to a so from this we can write a of x is equal to a so but what is a a is lesser than alpha so a is lesser than alpha so this implies that a of x is lesser than alpha so if a of x is lesser than alpha then x will not be an element of the alpha cut set because we know that x will be an element of the alpha cut set only if a of x is greater than or equal to alpha it is by the definition of alpha cut set but here a of x is lesser than alpha so this will imply that x is not an element of the alpha cut set and just now we saw by the def by the uh, we saw about the f uh, special fuzzy set where we learnt about the special mem membership function so if it is an element then the the membership value that is um alpha a of x will be equal to 1 but here it is not an element so this implies that alpha a of x is equal to 0 it will take 0 value here if you see the previous video where i have uh, explained about the decomposition of a fuzzy uh, set you will understand this concept better so if it is an element then alpha a of x will be equal to 1 if it is not an element then alpha a of x will be equal to 0 because we know that the special membership values takes only two values 0 and 1 so if it is not an element so this is equal to 0 now after finding the special membership membership function we have to find about the special fuzzy set so how do we do that we know that the special fuzzy set is given by a alpha of x that is equal to alpha multiplied with special membership function uh, alpha a of x alpha cut a of x so that is equal to alpha multiplied with this is what this is zero so alpha multiplied with zero and so this will be equal to zero hence we observe that the special fuzzy set a of x with respect to the uh, with respect to alpha is equal to zero for all alpha element of open interval a comma closed interval one so from this we observe that supremum of alpha a of x for alpha an element of open interval a comma closed interval 1 is also equal to 0 because this is 0 when we substitute over here it will be equal to 0 only and so we have obtained this part that is we have obtained this so this value is equal to 0 now we have to evaluate this value so let us see how to do that now so now we have to find supremum of alpha a of x where alpha is an element of closed interval 0 comma a so for this we have to consider each value of alpha to be an element of closed interval 0 comma a so now we from this we observe that now if you see this is 0 and 1 and a is somewhere here and here we have taken alpha to be an element of 0 comma a so it it is somewhere in this interval it, it is greater than or equal to 0 and lesser than or equal to a so we have taken alpha like this so we have alpha to be lesser than or equal to a so because it lies in this interval it can be either lesser or it can be equal because it is closed interval here it is uh, we can write this so this can also be written as a is greater than or equal to alpha so now uh, we will take the uh, membership function uh, i mean uh, uh, a, a of x which is equal to a by our assumption and this is what this is greater than or equal to alpha so this is greater than or equal to alpha so from this it implies that a of x is greater than or equal to alpha so if we have a of x to be greater than or equal to alpha then by the definition of alpha cut we know that x is an element of alpha cut of a so now if x is an element here uh, x is an element so what will happen to the special membership function 
it will be equal to 1. If it is an element, then it will take the value to be equal to 1. So, therefore, alpha a of x is equal to 1. Now, we shall find the uh, find about the special fuzzy set. So, alpha a of x is equal to what? By the formula, it is alpha multiplied with alpha a of x. So, uh, so that is equal to alpha multiplied with 1 and so that is equal to alpha. So, this implies that alpha a of x is equals to alpha for alpha to be an element of closed interval 0 comma a. Now, actually we want the supremum of this. So, supremum of alpha a of x where alpha an element of closed interval 0 comma a. So, that is equal to, now if you want to take the supremum of this alpha, we know that alpha is in the interval 0, a. And what can be the supremum value, the highest value that alpha can take is a only. And so, therefore, the supremum of this value is equal to alpha, but alpha can take the supremum value only a. So, here this is equal to a. Hope you understand this. Because alpha is in the intervals, closed interval 0, a, a is included in it. And this is the maximum value that alpha can take. Therefore, the supremum value of this is equal to alpha. But what is the uh, supremum value of alpha? It is a only. Uh, it, it, it varies from 0 to a and the highest value it could take is a and therefore this is equal to a. So, let me mark this as equation 3. Now, we shall uh, substitute 2 and 3 in equation 1. So, actually this is 2. Okay. So, this is equal to 0 and 3 we have. So, what is equation 1? This. So, now in this we have to substitute. So, what will happen is, uh, so this will be equal to, so I will be doing it here union so if you this we have to write so union alpha an element of closed interval 0 comma 1 alpha a of x is equal to now that is equal to what maximum of these two values now this is obtained from equation uh, uh, 3 and this is obtained from equation 2 now we have to substitute equation 2 here and equation 3 here. Uh, equation From equation 2 we have obtained this value to be equal to 0 and this value is equal to a and so therefore it will be equal to maximum of a comma 0 and what is the maximum value of these two values it is equal to a only but what is a first we have assumed a to be equal to a of x. So, therefore, union alpha and element of 0, 1 alpha a of x is equal to a of x. This is for one particular value x, an element of capital X. And therefore, in general, we can write union alpha uh, element of closed interval 0, 1 alpha a is equal to capital A. So, this is what we have to prove. So, hence, we have proved this. So, hence, proved. Hope you have understood this theorem. Thank you.